fired up the engine. Hey folks, it's Grimlet from Natch Evil. With me today is Jet, again. Say hello, Jet. Oh, 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 again. Mm. I can't even tell if you're playing a character or if you're always like this. And uh, today's question is, eh, we're going to talk about Doctor Who again. Hi everybody, it's your oh. weekly Doctor Who update. Weekly, we're we're one week behind, roughly. Although this will go up on Monday, so okay. they'll only be six, uh, eight days, <laughs> eight days behind. Close enough. <coughs> oh, beg my pardon. <clears throat> Close enough. I am rocking a new microphone. He sounds great. It weighs about fifteen pounds, which coincidentally, Jet, you lost fifteen pounds. Yeah, fifteen pounds in two months. Are we not certain that your weight loss has actually turned into a microphone? Maybe. Is it a fleshy microphone? It's a flesh-eating one. Oh. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Coughing, sneezing, we have all the unprofessions. But I am rocking a professional microphone now. So that's interesting to me. No, stop! Okay, good. That's fine. Day of the Dead was fun. Uh, that was a fun movie. I'm sorry I missed it, but at least I caught the la those uh, last two episodes of The Prisoner from, uh, from last night, which was well, Friday night. We're recording on Saturday. Right. Damn job. What you, what you missed was at the end where everyone's getting eaten. Spoilers. I've, I've, I've seen the movie. I've seen the movie. Anyway, yeah, but some people haven't. Huh. My point is, I played Thriller. <laughs> and everyone loved it. I got it. Next week, I know this is going to be on Monday, but next Friday, or Friday, we'll be playing The Hunchback of Notre Dame. Notre Dame. Starring Elon Chaney. I'm actually having That's trouble getting this, this trailer up. There we go. Yes. Nice, nice job. So. So. Last week's episode. Of Listen. Listen. Um, that was fucking perfect, man. Yeah, it really was firing an off on all, all cylinders. cylinders. I, yeah, it, it was so good. I, I could not find... I was looking for something wrong with it. I, I know you were. That's how you operate. No, that's, that's, okay. that's not how I operate all the time. We're Doctor Who fans. We look for things that are wrong. But that's not how all Doctor Who... I'm not, general, I'm not trying to generalize. I just, um, I just had a, a rough first couple of episodes of this season, and Listen came along like a brush of, br uh, a breath, breath of breath fresh, of fresh ass. ass. I mean, air. Yeah, yeah, a breast of fresh air. Fresh ass. Yeah, yeah a breast yeah. of fresh ass. Hmm, tasty. Where do we begin with this epicness? You know what? We shouldn't spoil this one. I really mean that. Um, it's been about a week. We shouldn't spoil this one. Yeah. Let's talk about the feel of it. Because it's, it's again... Stephen Moffat wrote this one, and you can tell. Because he has a style that feels... Uh, what's the Moffat best way? Like. Well, fairy tale-like. I mean... Okay. Yeah, definitely. The, the idea was a monster that is so good at hiding that you can't see it. See it. And or, you, you or, shouldn't be able to see it. Right. You, you don't should know it's it there. It wants you to see it. It, it. it doesn't want you to see it, and you're supposed to respect that. Or something like that. That's what I got from it. Yeah. And, uh, but the doctor's trying to, to find whatever this thing is and explain how come everybody has that same kind of nightmare where there's something something under your bread bed. Bread. Under my bread. God damn it. I should've I should have drank more coffee. I'm so sorry. I, uh, what it reminds me of is though, um, for anybody who has followed the big finish production of the Doctor Who radio shows, Zygraeus, which you don't know, Jet, uh Zygraeus sleeps beneath your bed. Zy Grayest sleeps inside your head. It's a it's a Gallifreyan fairy tale, and ah. it becomes really important to the Doctor uh, during his McGann years, as it 
as it were. I can actually say that, the McGann years. Only almost all of those years happen on radio show. That's fine. You need to check that out. It's so good. It's so good. It's so good. It's good. It's it feels so good. good. It feels good on you. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I know. I'm loving this new microphone. I bet you fucking are, baby. <laughs> Yes, I, I, I love the feel of it. It, uh, it was sad. It made me feel feels. But uh, so many feels. But it, 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 it was. Uh, and it and was Oswald very, got very to play good. the meddler again. I mean, that's uh, that's the point of the Impossible Girl is she's in everywhere at once. She ex exists strewed along the Doctor's timeline, so it makes I sense. I was under the impression when she went through that thing. The time is time stream. Yeah. After 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 she fixed stuff, she was no longer the impossible girl. She was just a normal person. No, at the, I mean at the very end, he even still called her the impossible girl. My Whoa. impossible girl. Oh man, the mic picks up my burps too. Awesome. I don't hear anything. Uh, you you will when I when I put this together. Oh sweet irony. Uh. So that, that last bit. There's... Where she's com comforting that person. <laughs> yeah, the last bit where she's basically... Well, well, she's she's delivering the moral of the story, I think, which, which is the deal. But, right. I mean, without giving anything away, can you... Really fucking hard. I... And not just my penis. Go ahead. <laughs> can I what? No, I was about to say, uh, can, can you... Explain how you... How did it make you feel? That tell, scene? Tell me about your mother. She's five foot five. Uh, brown hair, brown eyes. How does She's that outside you? working right now. How, do, how does that make you feel? Tell me how everything makes you feel. It... Well, she... doing yard work and I'm in here talking to your ass. This is... This and that makes me feel good, because I don't have to go outside and do yard work. This is a jar of pudding. Do you want it? Um... Do, do you want my pudding? Eat my pudding. It's no, delicious. well, I have my own pudding. I can make it myself. Okay, thank you. my pudding. No, thank you. You're not, not Bill Cosby. Go away. Put it in your mouth. <laughs> no, thank you. Alright, so I gotta refill on gas now. You are not a Catholic priest. Shut your face. Why are you a little boy? Should we be negotiating price? <laughs> <laughs> You're fucking, God damn you and your fucking mic. I fucking love this new microphone. <laughs> You're oh. sweet evil into my ear. <laughs> <laughs> tell We're gonna do something crazy right here. We're not gonna have a little tree. Tell, tell me you want Maybe me to saw your time. arms off. Alright, do 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 Bob Ross. I don't know. Oh, happy, happy trees. little trees, and and we're gonna keep that secret between you and me. That tree right there. And if you tell anybody about that tree, I will find you. And I will cut you. <laughs> so, uh, back to doc <laughs> back to Doctor Who. <laughs> back to uh. Doctor Who. Um, usually we argue a lot. We can't argue about this. It's a great episode. Listen, so far is the best episode of the season by leaps and bounds. I I rewatched Robot of Sherwood, and I believe the deal with the Golden Arrow was that it would give give the spaceship enough fuel to get into the out of the orbit of the Earth, but it was still going to explode. Okay, the explosion thing I could I could see. So, mm, mm, um, robots of Sherwood. My my issue is I could not tell. At least by first viewing, I have not seen it a second time. I admit. By first viewing, robots of Sherwood, I couldn't tell if the gold was meant as circuitry because it was molded into a pattern that looked very much like circuitry, or if the gold was being used as fuel, and you're saying it was used as fuel. I think it's both. Huh. 
I, I, I don't, I think it's both. They needed a, a certain amount of gold for circuitry and fuel to, circuitry to do something with the engine core. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Okay, I can deal with that crit collision because, I, sorry, head on collision with the car. I was playing chicken with Well the car. done. Thank you. Well done. I try. You will have your license taken away now. Uh, you know what and the funny thing is? And you'll be placed in a burlap sack and beaten. Well, I can't argue with the burlap sack thing. The funny thing is, I didn't have to take a license or a test or anything. They, they'll let anybody in the UK drive a truck. And hey, um, while I'm driving, I can go to Scotland and still remain in the UK. That's right. That's right. Party in the UK. You can take our freedom, but you can't take... <laughs> oh, wait. I screwed yes, that up. <laughs> Shit. You can take our poopy butts. The problem with Scotland is it's full of Scots. <laughs> you know, I haven't seen... Uh, I've only seen pictures of Scotland, but I, I, I enjoy their scotch. I, en <laughs> I enjoy their Craig Ferguson and their Peter Capaldi. The, the good thing about Scotland is it's full of scotch. <laughs> that too, baby. That too. Where's, where's your Scottish spirit? It's right here in this flask. Mm, nom, 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 nom. <laughs> you can do what you want to my soul. Just give me some of that raw Scotch whiskey. Alright, I'm doing terrible things to your soul. Alright, I'm cool what with that. Things? Scotch whiskey. <laughs> but what about Sheboygan whiskey? Huh? Uh, how do you feel about Clara and Danny's uh, relationship so far? They seem like a normal couple. Or they keep, they seem like a couple of goofs trying to fall in love or something. They like each other, but they keep fucking up. Um, <clears throat> okay. Danny, uh, awesome pink. Uh, no, no spoilers. Danny was, um, how do I put this? He is something that can only come out of the 2000s, the new millennium. Because right now, it seems to me that he is kind of a symbol of what the do you man. do with the soldiers that come back from Iraq? Interesting. I, and I'm not saying this is a bad thing. I, I think Danny is being used as a sign of our times. He is not, however, shoehorned into the story. He is not stapled onto the Doctor no, Who. They are slowly. I think they're slowly making him an excuse for Clara to leave the show. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing yeah. wrong with that at all. Yeah, and it's a good excuse. They're they're turning this into a full <laughs> full on story. The theme seems to be that the Doctor has no hope. Kind of. Uh, one of the commenters mentioned that the Doctor is, by design, darker, and I think they were using that as a way to kind of separate these two characters. I, I can't... Commenter on what, if I may ask? Oh, commenter of Casual Truck, the very show you are on. Oh, I guess I did not re read that comment. Interesting. Oh, yeah. um, I can't remember if it was back for last week or the week before that. One of the ones that... The, the one that we were talking about... Doctor Who on, I think, a week ago today. I see. Doctor Oho. Oho. I saw a video on YouTube where it had uh, Doctor Who, um, it was the first Doctor intro, but it was like the unused things. Like different swirl patterns and shit. Oh. And the way it the, the title came through, it looked like Oho and not Who. Which is why they didn't use it, I'm sure. Yeah. So that's why I say Dr. Oho sometimes. <laughs> if you're confused. Uh, that is the first time I've ever heard you make that distinction. Can I, uh, can I change this from Dr. Who to The Prisoner? Yes, go ahead, baby. Hammer into Anvil. Holy fuck. It was, that was just fuck with number two day. That was the coolest, because I forgot about it. I've seen... The Prisoner, uh, huh. I've seen the series twice in a row. No, no, not in a row. I've seen the series twice, and I don't know how I forgot that episode because it's a great example of how you can have no power 
and still win. Mm-hmm. And that's that's some, what a lot of what the show is based on. Being an individual, being a power to the people type of thing. Um, the, uh, the As theme, I read from Magoon. Uh, anybody who's seen The Prisoner can tell instantly that it's about raging against society. Raging against the man. That society as a whole. Let's see. Um, what your government is asking when the government is asking you for something that is intolerable to you <laughs> to give, that it is your right as a citizen to rage against the government, even if they use society against you. That's the theme. But. Well, yeah, oh. yes, amongst other things, yes. Well, I, I know. I told Queenie, I was talking to her this morning about The Prisoner, and I said what it makes it gr- what makes The Prisoner great is that it is bigger than the sum of the minutes that it takes to watch it. Like, for one episode of The Prisoner, you could talk about it for several hours. Oh, definitely. Which is a sign of something well-written. I mean... Hamlet is an incredible play because you can write books and books about this play. And I I think that's a sign of a masterpiece. But Hammer onto Anvil, I had forgotten how (laughs) how good it was. It's so good. It seems like Z and Toxic really like the show. Their minds are getting blown. (laughs) <laughs> in some of the really good episodes. You know, the, not, the kind of the cheesier ones. Yeah, not you know, so much. It's, it's the 60s. I, yeah. I, I give it I, some that's leeway. That's where the tropes come from. A lot of those uh, sci-fi tropes come from. I, I want to see how they flip the table at the end of the series. And I'm not even going to call a spoiler alert. This is like, what, a 40, almost 50-year-old series. Um, you... Everybody who's listening to the sound of my voice should just watch it. You can, for free, online, right now. Uh, you, can go, you can find it on different sites. For a while uh, there... You, you can motion yourself daily to a site to find it. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Wink, wink, say no more. Huh? What the hell am I doing? I don't know. I can't see you. Uh, what are I... your favorite episodes of the show? The Prisoner? Yeah. Um, you would have to ask. My favorite episodes are the ones that violence isn't... The answer. Well, it's not really used. Hammer unto Anvil is, is incredible because there was no violence used on anyone. It was pure movement of information. I don't know. They were trying to kick the shit out of, of, of number six a, a few times. None of that. Well, okay. With the umbrellas? The old ladies and their umbrellas? They were trying to beat the shit out of the prison? That was unmutual. Unmutual. Yeah. That was this. That was the episode after Hammer and Unto Anvil. Oh, yeah. You're right. You're right. Yeah. You're right. You're yeah, right. Yeah, that... Uh, but those are the shows I like. I like the shows where... Uh, it is a matter of outsmarting. Even if the village wins against number six, uh, I like the ones where it's all about all about the uh, the smarts, the strategies. The, those are my favorite episodes. I can't what? pull any out of my head right now. Immediately. I like the first episode because it sets everything up. Yeah. Um, I like the second episode because that's my favorite number two. Which one? I'm curious. Kern. That was Leo McCurr. Long haired guy, mustache, goatee. Oh, the one that looks a little bit like the devil. I was going to say the cowardly lion, but okay. You must be thinking of it. Di- no, no. No, you, you're you right. You're right. You are <laughs> absolutely right. I, I just look at him differently, that's all. For some reason, my truck. GPS decided to take all the back roads, and this is taking for fucking ever. All right, what does this say? What does because this say? it's like fuck you, Cardiff and Liverpool. Um, I like living in harmony. I know you don't like westerns, but I think it sets up number forty-eight very well. You Top just... hat guy. Isn't it 
Does the butler have a number? No, he's just the butler. Everybody was really catching on to the butler and just being like, Man, that butler's awesome. I bet nobody pays his dues. He just does this for fun. <laughs> the butler, oddly enough, is supposed to res uh, represent the working man. You, me, the normal folks. Hmm. Hmm. So say it's the Magoo man. Oh. So say it's the Magoo man. <laughs> I, don't, I don't trust Magoo him. As, as, far as, uh, as far as what he thinks, because... So like much less. opportunity to start screwing with people. Mm -hmm. Because the show is open to such interpretation that you could even claim... I mean, if if the prisoner was done again, you they would have it. to get Lynch. Oh, you're right. They AMC did. did it, and it was shit. <laughs> oh, God. They, they, they tried to explain everything, and the whole point was, not, was you, you're not supposed to explain everything. Which is why the the best director to grab for that would have been Lynch. Yeah. Oh, yeah. David you... Lynch is the prisoner. <laughs> Suddenly a guy with weird hair comes out. <laughs> you think you think Dune was hard to follow? Fuck you. We're having him do the prisoner. And after that, 2001 A Space Odyssey. Really I imagine. have never seen Dune. Because, well, I've seen parts of Dune. I just turned it off because it seemed don't, cool. Don't. Don't. In, unless I'm, you've read the book... Don't, yeah, I never read the book. Don't bother with David Lynch's Dune. Instead, if you want to get into Dune but not not be confused as to what the hell is going on all of the time, um, the sci-fi original series, miniseries Dune, is really good. And they decompressed it. The movie was basically trying to turn what was essentially Lord of the Rings into a hour and a half film, yeah, and it, it didn't. Work. It only works if you've read the book. Uh, but the, and not everyone has read the book. It's not that massively as popular. Well, it's it's a fairly important I, uh, science fiction because yes, but not everyone reads science fiction. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know. What you a, mean. It's it's a niche market. Um, the best, the better part of the fiction of Dune rotates around the cultures and the society in the future, as it were, and how it was transformed by the spice. Spice must flow. All good science fictions are what if question. What what would happen if we had a particular thing that advanced humans to a point where they could bend space? What happens if we push that idea to its limit, and that's what Dune is. I liked Lord of the Rings, and I didn't even read the book, and I'm sure people are listening to this going, what the hell is wrong with you? Burr, 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 burr. <laughs> I haven't read Lord of the Rings either. I tried to. It's so dry. If we had Snippy in, in the conversation, he'd be like, I read Lord of the Rings movie was awful. I just want a hand that turn pages and burr, 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 burr. No, no, he'd be like, well, you know, uh, J.R.R. Tolkien was Swedish. He was not, he was British. Swedish, he was Swedish. He was of Swedish origin and he originally wrote it in Swedish, which is the way I read it. Not that I'm saying anything about Snippy. What? <laughs> yeah. Hi, Snippington. We love you, Snippy, Snip, 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 Snip. Oh god, this is going on forever. I thought um, I'd be done by now. Where was I? Oh yeah, uh, the second episode. I like Living in Harmony. I like uh, The Girl Who Was Death. The first time I saw The Girl Who Was Death, I was like, what the hell is going on here? And it gets to the end, I'm like, you son of a bitch. Is that the one? Remind me, is that the one with the girl who could not speak English? Nope. That's the blonde, who dressed in white, which had uh, tried to kill number six. And it's like he turns into Sherlock Holmes, he turns into uh, a super spy, he turns into different people. It's like a story, like a children's story, if you will. Which one was the one? Uh, it was one of the earlier episodes. Where they mess with his dreams. And they are 
progressively doing, pu- pushing him in his dream world to sort of reveal. Oh, is that the one where he dreams about a party? Yeah, he's dreaming about a, a cocktail party constantly. A, B, and C. Yeah, that's right, because the drugs were labeled A, B, and C. All right. All right, thank well, you. Well, the, the drugs that weren't labeled. Good. The drugs weren't labeled A, B, and C. The situations were A, B, and C. This is the situation A, where he could have gone down this path. This is the situation B, where he could have gone down this path. And so on. I proved him wrong. He's angry. I refuse to talk to you. I refuse to tickle your pickle. I am amazed how good this microphone is. It's just taking up, like, all of my whispers and everything. All right, where the fuck am I? Why am I taking all these back roads? I should have been (laughs) done by now. Hang on a second. And, of course, I like the last episode because that was just... First time I saw the, uh, the final and... It's called. It's just like, what the fuck is going on? What? How? And the, and the things and they're, with the, and then there's all you need is love is playing and then the. Uh, well, the last episode I'm pretty sure was engineered to make people angry. Oh god! Oh god! I'm not slowing down fast enough. Oh shit! Oh shit! What? Don't don't mess with my cargo. You can destroy my truck, just don't fuck with my cargo. No! God damn, Pete, I, stop running into the back of my truck. I wasn't, ah, I wasn't it, angry. I, 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 it was molesting my mind, sweet and tight. It was a mind screw, and I loved it. I that. loved it. <laughs> I love it when you screw my mind. Jet, do you want what? me to screw your mind? Whoa! you to touch me for the Pajelli Ucho's cry. Um, um, many, many, I, oh, uh. Are you, are you fucking up again? The, the rain is making my wheels real slick for some reason. This is new to me, so. Uh, probably because it's fucking rain, dude. Well, yeah, but it didn't used to do it like this. Not like this. Not like Not this. Not like this. Were you around for Dr. Jekyll and Hyde? Um, the first bit with the shiny top hats. Holy shit, such shine. And you heard the different music I was playing? Yeah. Which seemed to really fit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, 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 okay. The rain just suddenly turned this into another dimension. My my bad, man. I just... Um, the ice world... Yeah, yeah, uh, if... Here's a horn. I believe it belongs to you. Perhaps you'd like to toot it. Toot, toot! Was that... Was that good? Nah, it's okay. Toot, toot! (laughs) Better? A little bit better. God damn it, you... Slowly, slowly. (laughs) Slowly. I've been working on furry character designs. Yeah, you're... For you're reasons that need not concern you. He's a fur fag. I'm not, actually. I'm kind of into a little bit of everything. But, uh, enough about that. I'm not used to drawing furries. I've never drawn furries before. Ah, uh, god damn it. Uh, uh. Now, move on to something else? Um, yeah, Time Heist. What do you think of that? Have you seen the little bits of trailers and the sneak peeks of Time Heist? The yes. next Doctor Who episode. I, I want to see how it goes. It sounds like... Okay, were you aware that there was a companion that was set up for Sylvester McCoy after Ace? Yes. It was for the comics. And is did she make it in the comics? I believe she did. The setup of how he found her was she would sneak into a house, like a, a, a party that was at an apartment, like a condo. She'd sneak into a bedroom, open up the safe, and the doctor would be inside saying, I thought you'd never get here. Yep, I saw that. I saw that on the, um, like the, 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 the last, uh, survival has a little documentary about that shit. Oh. What would happen if it went on and survival wasn't the last episode? 
I thought that's what you were referring to, but yeah. Yeah, well, I saw it on YouTube. I didn't know where it was from, the documentary part. That's what I thought of as soon as I saw Heist. I thought of that character and what could have been. Uh, well, we shall see what we shall see. And then we will discuss it. Yeah, it would have, it would have been interesting to, to have uh, a thief companion. Uh -huh. Another one. No, no, I'm too fast. I don't think D'Souza was a companion. She was just a one-off character. Kind of like uh, Kylie Minogue. Yeah. All, all of, all of my feels, and a little bit of the ridiculousness that was the David Tennant years. I did not like Planet of the Dead. It seemed very sloppy. There we go. Okay, we gotta wrap this up. I did good work today because I got one percent damage. On my cargo. Yeah. Damn. And I guess uh, I'm gonna find out just how good a job this new microphone is doing. It's gonna sound sexy. Sexy. You gonna melt the panties off of every man? Take off your panties, Jet. I'm not wearing any. Oh, that makes two of us. All right. Well, <laughs> I'm Actually, going. I'm wearing your wife's. <laughs> go to hell. Also, say, <laughs> say good night. I'll see you there. Um. Yeah, join join me on Friday. Yeah, Friday nights at uh, what is it, eight, seven central? Yes. And uh, he wants you to shut down his channel by reporting him to live stream, which is where he's doing this. That's why he's telling everybody he knows. Why? Why would you? Don't be it. Okay. In hell, I'm gonna ring the fat out of you, make you lighter, make another microphone out of you. What? I love you, Jet. Yeah, so does your mother. <laughs> anyway, that's it for today's episode. I'll see y'all next time. See you next time for Doctor Who-ness and stuff and things. He really wants us to be on Doctor Who show. I don't know if we should make it a Doctor Who show. We should. We should make it a general show. Yes. And with Doctor Who. We're going to fade out with this. I love you. Hey, do you have Skype and want to be on the show? Want me to saw your leg off? Shoot a message to natchevil at gmail.com and include Chuck in the subject so I know it's from you. And thanks for watching.